everyone and welcome back. This is lesson 1.3. I'm taking a look here at the inspiration piece and one thing that I notice as I look in here is that there are a lot of very bold lines. Um, in addition there's the title. So right now what I'd like you to do on your journal page is you should have some some open space and all I want you to do is to take your your sharpie pen and I want you to draw just, um, well, before you draw, I want you to think of a sentiment. So I'm going to do home sweet home. And I want that to be on two lines. And so I'm going to draw two lines. Let me go ahead and demonstrate. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is start just writing in with my um, Sharpie pen home. And I'm going to try to alternate my letters so that, you know, some are kind of big, some are small. And I'm also going to change some of the sizes of my letters. And I'm not quite touching the line. So what was I going to do? Home? Home? Sweet home? Why did I have home to home in my mind? Um, and then I'm going to do home over here kind of small because I'm going to get the sweet I'm just going to hand write okay so that is done that part's done and then the next thing I'm going to do one of my favorite parts on the inspiration piece is the little tiny clouds and so you want to make sure that you have your other details in there, though, before you start drawing your, your clouds. So I'm using my um, Sharpie poster paint pen in black. And then I'm just going to kind of do some real fluffy looking, real funky looking clouds, too. And then the um, next thing is, I'm just going to go ahead and start outlining the rest of my um, figures with the black pen, the poster paint pen. At this point, you should really start to see your journal page start to look alive. And I don't know if you can see, but over here, there's a little bit of a space, and so I'm just going to darken up that line. Okay. Um, do this other little house and I'm also trying a new video camera angle so let me know if you guys like it hopefully this position works out And I normally always pull down with my markers, um, but you saw that I did go push up. Um, I was taught when I took art classes in college that um, pulling down always gives you more control than pushing up. And when you push up, you get sometimes some um, 
like spatter and I do get spatters in my journal that's part of it um now let's go ahead and do the little hill and you'll see over here how um it didn't quite meet up with this other line that's fine so I'm just going to go in there and um black that out let me go ahead and turn this Okay, and let's go ahead and work on our title now. Um, let's just give this a chance to dry. Um, for the sake of time, I have a I have a heat tool. Okay, and what I'm going to do in here? Let me fold this page back. Um, what I'm going to do is I like to to play with the lines first before I start in on the letters. And so I kind of make the lines a little bit bigger. Maybe I add some little lines. I am a huge fan of um, Mary Inglebright. I love the, you know, real, I don't know, just fun look. And so um, I like to, to show that kind of, um, that side of me in my journals. Okay, so then I'm going to do this next line. And I don't know if you can see, but my pen did did just spatter. And again, that's part of the journal. No worries. And the other thing I like to do is I like to put a little dot on the end where my line finishes. This does dry pretty, pretty quickly. Um, okay, so then now I'm gonna go in and work on my letters. And um, I like my letters to be real thick. And so sometimes I'll go over them with my, um, this is the fine point. This was the um, extra fine point. So um, what I do is I'll go over them with the, um, with the thicker pen. And then I'll just add some detail with my um, my extra fine. So right here you can see how I didn't quite meet up with that line. That's fine. I'll just thicken up the whole thing. Um, and then I don't like, I like my letters to come in like little points. So um, the other thing I like to do is I like to add a little... <clears throat> places with, you know, adding more little, I don't know what you would call that. Um, just like wherever my letters turn, I like to add a little line. And I'll do the bottom one. And I'm just going to come in for the, um, that's still a little wet, so let me go ahead and dry it off. Okay, 
and so now I'm just going to come in with the sweet. I find it hard to write cursive with the, um, after I did that, I then, oh my gosh. Okay. I find it hard to write in the cursive um, with this pen, so I do go very, very slow. Otherwise, you might get some um, splatters. Okay, so that part is done up there. And then um, the next part that I'm going to do is I'm just going to, um, using my watercolor crayons, I am going to... Um, to add a little bit more details. Oh yeah, and I also wanted to add a little road. So this is my Sharpie paint, or my Sharpie regular pen. Um, just add a little whimsical road. And, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave that um, in just the pen using my paint markers. My paint markers. Oh my gosh, I am so confused this morning. Um, using my watercolor crayons, I have the white. And um, I'm just going to color in the clouds. And I am pressing kind of hard. And then um, I'm going to do the same thing for the sidewalk area. And then because this is somewhat detailed, I'm going to use a brush to um, paint that. And let me go ahead and move this stuff out of my way. Oh my goodness. So I am getting most of the water off of my paintbrush. Um, I don't want it real wet. Okay, and just kind of painting those clouds in. You could have also drawn the clouds in with your um, Sharpie pen because you might need to go over these lines if you want or if you don't want, that's fine too. Okay, and then my little road. a lot of water on this brush. More than I like. And then um, I'm going to go up into the cloud area. And I'm just going to, using some blue, Kind of at the tops and at the bottoms of the clouds. And then I'm um, just going to blend that with a brush. This is a flat number eight. See, I'm just coming straight down and then straight up. Okay, and then that's going to be it for this video. So thanks for watching.